Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6 and today we are going to be checking out more uh, um, intermediate maps or is it going to be advanced maps? Yep, we're going to be starting our advanced map stuff. Now there is a brand new daily challenge which is if I can go back right here um, and with that one it's hard difficulty. So I'd rather just focus on the maps for now. Maybe if we play a lot and we have a good time with a couple of the maps we can move forward. But for now let's do another brick. We'll do it on easy. Our reward is 225, so as the maps get more difficult, the larger reward gets as well, which is pretty gosh darn cool. So let's try to figure this out. I'm gonna go ahead and put a monkey here to start out. Ah, uh, that should be fine. Oh, you know what? I probably didn't wanna do Gwendolyn. Now that I think about it, ah, uh, we'll make it work. Gwendolyn's pretty cool. So yeah, let's try this out. We're gonna start with, let's do longer darts, and we'll make them quick shots as well. And that should be pretty good as it is. Now we have 320. I could put that to some other stuff. I wanted to start using the cannon in today's episode because I'm still trying you know, level up each tower and get some pretty cool upgrades with each one as we go forward. In the last episode, we checked out some pretty cool boomerang monkey stuff and got the bionic boomerang. In the episode before that, we were focusing on Super Monkey Fan Club. I'm just gonna try to focus on different tiers that way. I, of course, we'll try to focus towards tier five, but it's really hard for me to save up with that right now. And maybe if I started using some of the power-ups like I should, that would get a whole lot easier. So that's something I might end up focusing on. But for today, it's all about the bomb shooter and seeing what we end up getting with that. For right now, we'll focus on this this way. We can do like some anti-mob stuff if we need to. But I think for right now, we'll just do the uh, path two and three and put them both to tier two. So I'm trying to learn all the terminology for the game now. Um, apparently, I can get a level up for the normal balloon monkey. What can we get? We have 35,000 35, experience, and we can get our last upgrade for him, and then he's gonna be fully upgraded, which is fantastic. It is called the Crossbow Master. Crossbow Master shoots really fast and devastates more most balloon types with ease. How cool is that? So we'll go ahead and unlock that. Wow, you do look cool, don't you? Very, very awesome stuff. So we're gonna leave things like that for now. If I can do the quick shots, because that's relatively cheap, and then hopefully within the next couple rounds we can get you um, ready to take on some camo. But beyond these two, and probably building this up a little bit, we can get Gwendolyn, we can get a Buccaneer Monkey in the water over here, so that could turn out pretty nice and fine. So yeah. So we're gonna try that out and see how everything goes. But I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Hopefully you guys have been too, watching all these episodes. What is this, the eighth episode so far? So lots of fun still left to be had as we play through all these maps, not only on easy mode, but we'll be you know continuing through on different difficulties, trying to level up our towers, and just sort of get them to the best that they can possibly be. That'll be pretty cool. Lots of people have been telling me to try out different towers, and I really want to. I just sort of want to get through each one. Uh, maybe we will try something new today, though, if I could just try something that I haven't leveled up too much. I'm thinking the Ninja Monkey. That's been a heavily requested one by you guys, so I think I'll throw in one of these guys. A lot of people say they are very, very powerful, so that might be fun to experiment with. But beyond that, I'm gonna save up for Gwendolyn, save up for a Buccaneer Monkey, and just try to level up with this and see how that goes. Now, one thing I didn't really think to try. I guess you can't put them on top of here. That'd be pretty cool though, wouldn't it? You could put one over here for some reason. I don't see how that could be useful whatsoever. Maybe if you had something that doesn't need sight. But the only thing I can imagine is the submarines, but even then, I mean, you can't get rid of this brick wall. This is not something, oh, you can tap the birds to make them run away. That's pretty cool. Can I put them on here now? Still can't. Weird. So the, uh, obviously you can tell what the problem is with this map is that anything that gets around this immediate corner is gonna get away. So what does the missile launcher do? Shoots missiles instead of bombs, missiles fly faster with longer range. So yeah, we can get a little bit of a longer range. I'm thinking we might do cluster bomb for this. It's a little bit cheaper and I should be able to get more rid of more balloons at first because mob launcher only does more damage to mob class balloons and we're sort of a far ways out. We're not, not gonna need anti-moab until round 40. So if I could get the, the cluster bombs, which throws out secondary bombs instead of sharp fragments every shot, that sounds pretty gosh darn good. So that sounds like a fair balance. Might be worth getting the 170 for this. And let's take a look at our upgrades for our Ninja Monkey. We already have some Ninja Discipline, which is increased attack range and attack speed. Might as well get that. And see how that ends up going. It's 255, so a little bit expensive for right now. But what rumor, we gotta get 765 for Gwendolyn. I mean, we don't always need a hero, but I think it's useful to have most of the time. So I think this is one of those times. I, wait, what am I removing? Oh, I can remove these brick blocks over here, but what's the point of that if there's a wall in the way? I mean, maybe for like the banana towers, that could be pretty good. Just having like a little section over there for banana towers. I wanted to try, oh man, there's so much I want to put my hard earned cash towards. For right now, heroes, 
put Gwendolyn here. I think Gwendolyn near the start sounds pretty good. So she'll go right there. And then I wanna save up 1,020 for this banana tower, see if this might be helpful at all, because I'm pretty sure it will be. Because if I remember correctly from BDD5, that will sort of superpower our monkeys given the right upgrades. And I've never really thrown it out before, so that could be cool. Um, yeah, let's try that. Because if I could just sort of get a setup that'll last me for the long run, I'll be pretty gosh darn good with everything. Oh, this actually has a smaller range than I was anticipating. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot of experience for that, but for right now, I don't really know if it does anything. I guess it should power them up at least to some extent, which is pretty cool. So yeah, first off, monkeys. Distraction, what do we got? Some balloons will become distracted and move backwards. That actually sounds really nice. And then we got Seeking Shuriken. Shurikens will seek out and pop balloons automatically. So I don't really know if I really want to do this at this point, because it just increases attack speed. But in reality, if we could seek out balloons, it'd be nice. Okay, there's one balloon getting away. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, we're just gonna do that. We're leaking. Oh, we're leaking, weird. Bigger radius, increased radius of the village, or influence radius. Then we also have a uh, grow blocker, prevents regrow balloons from working while in the radius of the village. Ah, that doesn't sound too great. And then monkey business, provides 10% discount to all monkeys upgraded to tier, upgrades tier three or less purchased in the radius of the village. That sounds like the best thing for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one now. It's also the most expensive out of the three. It's 425 though, so that's a tough start. I could get it right now, or I could finally use some power-ups. You guys have been saying I should use these more often, so I think I'm gonna start doing that. For right now, just get more money, so if I could, okay, that was weird. I guess I can't place more than one at once. But yeah, it'll just like collect the other one. So there we go, we got a bunch of cash out of that. Um, and for that, I'm gonna upgrade that. We'll go ahead and get the bigger radius so that we can make that a little bit better. We'll get Grow Blocker, but I'm not gonna use it right now. What is Jungle Drums? Increases attack speed for all monkeys within the radius, and then Monkey Commerce. Additional 5% discount that can stack up to two other villages within or with this upgrade. Interesting. We'll do that for now. For you, I think we wanna make you a triple shot monkey. We could even get a super early super fan club monkey, but I don't know if I like that idea. I think I would rather for right now focus on the cluster bombs. Wow, 30,000 is a lot. Yeah, I think we saw that last episode. And we can do something like, you know, we wanna do the Seeking Shuriken. 500 experience for that is the Caltrops. Throws out spiked Caltrops onto the track nearby. I feel like that'd actually be very good. So we'll try that out. We still have $4,000 left over. So if I wanted to upgrade anything else, I could. Not too much I can afford at the moment, but I think it's time for another bomb. Or bomb shooter, you know what I mean. Okay, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and do really big range and then bigger bombs. We will eventually do a Moab takedown kind of thing but I figured we should wait for now. Now, I did wanna get back to you guys. I've been getting all of your advice that you guys write to me. Just do remember, it does take time. I post a lot of videos, so I do record them all ahead of time. So if you got, if you gave me some tips that I haven't quite applied, it's just because I haven't had the chance to, like maybe I actually recorded that before you even commented or you know made any kind of mention. So keep that in mind if you can. I appreciate it. Anyways, we got 2,700 almost here. So let's go ahead and try to figure that out. Uh, and then balloon impact. So that should be really good. That, if we can get, yeah, that should actually slow down the balloons a little bit, which is super exciting. And how are you doing when it comes to experience? If we could get the 10,000, or the 37,500, that is insane. Um, That would be very good. That's gonna take a while though, a real long while. Oh, oh, we got monkey knowledge point. That's very good, we'll apply that at the end of today's episode if I can remember. But I wanna keep with the tower. How much experience does that have? I don't know. Maybe we should just uh, focus on this right now. I don't wanna remove anything. I wanna take a look at everything else when it comes to our options. Um, I don't know. Like we have, what does this do? Does it, does it tell me from here? I guess not. But some of these power up our monkeys, some of them do other stuff. Like the anti-camo is always pretty nice. We already can see camo though, so that's not too big of a deal. I could just keep focusing on the cannons though. That would be really nice, because right now this cannon's got like 1600. That one's got 400. This one's not getting too much, but it can stun the, the, the balloons, which is the big part about it. So we got some really easy camo here, I guess. This guy can see the camo. Let's do sharp shurikens, as you can see. Shurikens pop four balloons each. That actually sounds really nice. And then counter espionage. Shurikens strip camo from balloons they hit. That sounds really good. I can't wait to get that one for 600. Should be pretty easy to afford. So as you can see, the ninja monkey is awesome. There's so many different really, really cool monkeys. So I wanna try to get them all and upgrade them all and showcase as many as possible. We do have jungle drums, I definitely want that. And how much is that? 1,275 actually isn't too bad. 
Now, I remember from BDD5, there were some upgrades we could get that would help you earn more money. Monkey Town. All monkeys within the radius of Monkey Town get extra cash per balloon pop. That sounds really nice. What is primary training? All primary monkeys in radius get more range, and pierce, and projectile speed. So, primary monkeys are all the blue ones. Which is great, because that's what our cannon, I don't know if the cannon actually counts as a primary monkey, so that might not count, but the, the dar monkey counts. That's the only thing we got. So I think it would actually be better to shift our focus to the 750 for the monkey commerce, and then also, not this, that, um, the monkey town, which is 3,000, so we need in total 3,750. That's gonna be a lot of work, but I think it'll be worth our while. So we'll keep getting that. In the meantime, what should I be saving up for next? Browsing through everything. I mean, if I really wanna turn that into a super monkey fan club, I'm going to have to get more super or just normal monkeys at the least. And we'll make sure that they can at the least see camo. Because with the super monkey fan club, 10 nearby dart monkeys, including himself. Now, last time I checked, if we did that on like a crossbow monkey, it doesn't work. We got crossbow master now though. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll just set up another monkey. We'll put him about here. And we'll do just a basic 2-2. Two -two for now, before we do anything. I mean, we can get the triple shot. That definitely shouldn't get in the way. So now maybe we should save up the 6800. We're doing really well. The problem is that, you know what? We're coming up on the Moab situation. I think it's about time to worry about that. So let's go ahead and get that, get some extra range because we're gonna get a Moab next round and I will have the two on, okay, we can just instantly destroy it, which will be awesome. Um, Okay, well I couldn't, but uh, I went a little too fast there, but honestly we survived really well. So let's go into free play and have some fun with this. We might not be able to get too much experience here. Is it a problem? But I wanted to try some cannons. I really wanna try the recursive cluster. If we take a look, recursive cluster's down here with the bomb blitz, these other two, I really don't know. Cause I'm pretty sure you get next, yeah, you get next to no experience for all this in this mode. But it would be cool, especially if I can upgrade that. We only need another 2,000 for that one. So I feel like this made the big difference, the monkey village. So I gotta keep that in mind. I wonder how far we can go like this. It probably isn't use, use, uh, worth using all the power ups I did though for easy mode, unless I wanna, you know, really get more stuff done. So let's go ahead and do the uh, counter espionage. I think that would be great. And let's see how far I can push this one. And then we'll uh, move on to the next map. And then I'll probably use some of my uh, money, monkey money to buy more upgrades. I think the cash drops sound like some of the best stuff. Because it feels like the less cheating, or least cheating to me, sometimes. We can get the 6800, but I want at this point, I would like to save. If I could save the, to the 30,000, that would be super duper cool. I mean, I love the the the, uh, the MOA blaster as it is, so that's pretty cool. How are we doing in experience now? 20,000, so we still have so much more to get with that one. It's really this one I'm waiting for, 11,000 or 1,100 right now. We'll do monkey commerce. I'm thinking that, yeah, there really isn't too much more I can do with this, like even if I earn up the money. But we'll try it, because we've never done bomb blitz before. That sounds like it'd be fun to get a new tower. And we're getting a couple thousand per go, so that would work out fine. And they're all attacking super fast because of this monkey tower. That's why I would want to try it on hard mode, but it would be so hard to save up for because of the fact that everything's difficult. That's the point of hard mode. So it's sort of this weird spot when it comes to the monkey tower on hard mode. I think I want to try it though, especially if we can buy some of those cash upgrades. I feel like that would really set me apart with it. So I don't know, maybe we'll do one more easy mode um, level. Okay, let's go ahead and do this fire potion. Probably badly timed, looks like it. Okay, so we're almost at round 50 though. We're doing pretty decent. I'm at 17,000 cash. Oh, 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 okay, that was way too late for the uh, the MOA blaster or whatever. Okay, try that again. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, we're destroying this thing. Oh, blast that, nice. We are doing really well, because a lot of this stuff has just some great range, and it's able to work pretty well. 21,000 now. I just want to get to the 29,000. Check out one of these tier fives. We have not been able to get a single tier five in this game, so this would be really cool to check out. This would make me happy. So that's why I want to do this. Blast that, throw out this. Okay, this, this stuff might get past us. Oh, because of those bombs, those, the recursive bombs, they slowed it down. So that's super duper good. And we're almost at the 25,000, but I'm also in sort of a bad spot here now. Um, throw out the fire, that did okay. Lots of Moabs now, oh my, oh my, oh my. Nice job, I like this, this bomb shooter. I think we want to definitely upgrade that one next. Go ahead and get rid of those. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. This might be where we fail. Might be where, can we play a super monkey real quick then? This might not be enough. We'll try it. <laughs> oh, and I almost had enough for this too. Come on, come on, can you get rid of that or no? Oh, it's over. 
Yikes. I tried so hard too, we were doing really well. I just wanted the 29,000. Oh well, we're gonna go home. Almost got it. Why is it always like that? I just try so hard for the tier fives, I never ever get them. So it's a hundred more monkey money. We're completing a map on a, or an advanced map, which is pretty cool. And we also have some monkey knowledge, which we can do. So let's go this way. And we're gonna keep with primary for now. I think it's still good to have that. Because we still have like the budget clusters, which is good because you know we've been focusing on that. How many points do we have in everything? I think five, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So shouldn't I be able to grab one of these? Or I guess I can just keep grabbing these ones. Okay, I guess whatever one's glowing yellow, that makes sense. So I can either get some stuff down this way. Okay, so we have the selection between four and four. Dart Monkey's triple shot gets four darts every fourth shot, or force versus force. Juggernaut does three damage per shot to a mob class balloons. I mean, the problem is that one is it's a dead end. I'd still have to upgrade this one. So for right now, we'll do this one. And that does unlock this. And this is requires eight points. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could do this one, or we could do one of these three, or maybe even some of these down this way when we get more knowledge points. We'll have to wait and see. If we wanna level up the boomerang monkey mode, we'll probably wanna get with some of those. But okay, we should move on to the next one now. It should be somewhere this way. It's gonna be off the coast. Oh, this one looks like it could be a lot of fun. Actually, hold on, before I do that, I need to go ahead and get some more power-ups. I mean, I think I can actually do that from in the game itself. But for right now, we have Thrive, increased cash production from all group towers by 25%. That's always pretty good. Um, I want a bunch more cash drops. How much are those? 200. Well, they're expensive for a reason, aren't they? Um, we'll do one more. Glue traps, like a lot of this other stuff doesn't sound super crazy. Um, just like the Super Monkey Storm, it's a squadron flying super powered laser beam and monkeys who destroy every single balloon on the screen and do big damage to mob class balloons. We'll get like two more of those. Sounds pretty good to me. So, let's play. We're gonna go back over to off the coast and have some fun with that. It should be good. I don't think it's gonna be a too much of like a difficult map to begin with, uh, but if we could just get like an early one of you out here. Oh, I could see that the debris definitely will cause a problem. But I think if we get you around like this way, that's gonna be really good. And I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, but we'll be able to get the monkey tower set up there. So I don't have to show you why, because I'm gonna tell you. But um, yeah, I don't wanna spend any power-ups this round if I don't have to, because it's still easy mode. There's no reason why I should use power-ups. I just wanted to see if it can't help me get to the tier five. But it just seems like I'm, I'm having a hard time with that. Maybe I should just focus on playing the game and learning a little more that way. So we'll earn up some of this. I'll probably just earn up the thousand for the the uh, the monkey tower right now, getting extra experience for that, or the monkey village is it is as it is. Um, oh, can we get that? That's gonna be some pain already. Well, I don't like that. But we got rid of everything else, so it's a give and take. I think it'll be fine now. We took two damage, it's not the end of the world. I just need $1,020. So we're at 760 now. We're getting more and more. Most of the stuff the Buccaneer can handle just fine. So, except for the couple of stragglers, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. I don't wanna waste a ton of money just for them. But with the green balloons, it gets really scary. Oh, another green one got by. Come on, we're almost there. Almost, come on. Got it, okay, so now I can put this guy right about here, and that should increase this guy's range. I think it'll increase like his fire rate and popping power, like all of it, so that's very good. So now we can start focusing on some easier to afford things if we want. I'm thinking the cannon, of course, but even this is still hard to work with. So we're still taking damage. It's a little bit of a rushed thing, which is sort of stinky, gotta be honest, but now we can do this and everything gets easier. That's in the range, right it is, okay, very good. Okay, so once again, we're still taking a bit of a beating. This is actually really difficult so far. Are we sure we chose easy mode? Oh boy, I'm not good at this game. I mean, it helps in some way at the least. Let's go do very quick shots. We did get your triple shot upgrade, so I wanna be able to get that here. Um, first, does enhanced eyesight give any better range? Yes, shoots for even further. So that could be nice. And got it, there we go. So some really nice range, really nice popping power. We'll probably do the top and bottom for this one again. I don't really need grow blocker, I don't think. And bigger radius for now would be decent, but the upgrade pass that is what I'm really looking for. Come on, come on, you guys can get that, no problem. Might wanna save the 340 for this because these guys with the yellow balloons and we're taking way too much damage. I mean, there's a couple things I can do. Maybe 425 for the grape shot or faster shooting. Faster shooting sounds great. Let's do faster shooting. Come on, it's also cheaper, so it's better to work with. 295, 295, 295, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're, we're keeping them back, we're keeping them back. Come on, yes, get rid of them. Nice, that's gonna be good. We'll get the double shot next. 
even though that's a little bit more expensive at 425, yeah, I think we'll be able to handle it. Actually, we should probably get the triple shot first if that's a little bit cheaper. Whatever we can afford right away, that's what we should get. So every fourth shot, you'll be shooting out four instead of three darts. If we slow it down, we should probably be able to see that. Uh, oh, the darts are so tiny. That was definitely four, and then three, three, four. Yep, I see it. Very cool. Um, so let's keep upgrading this. And we're just waiting for, I mean, I could get that. I guess that doesn't increase our range anymore. I thought that it did. I guess it just unveils camos. Keeping that in mind. Okay, so, hmm. 425, got it. Double shot will help a ton. Okay, so I'm just sort of thinking everything through. At this rate, if we could get the 425, that'd be fantastic. We do have enough for radar scanner, which I believe uh, allows all monkeys in the radius to attack animal balloons, which is pretty decent. Um, I probably wanna get through with it. I mean, even though I really, really want Monkey Town, or almost at Monkey Town, five experience away from Monkey Town, I'm gonna get that one first. I gotta, you know? Wow, we're still letting balloons get by us, so. Um, I'm not gonna be able to, I mean, uh, if I could get 1275, that's a lot from now, though. What is the uh, Monkey Madness, though? That sounds good, because these things will be cheaper. Always the first three tiers, so that could be great. So. In the meantime, as I'm risking everything, I mean, I still have 165 health on easy mode. We should be able to do it. But uh, there we go, Monkey Town is unlocked. That'll be so helpful for a lot of monkeys, I think, later on. And let's just try to fit you in the radius as well. I mean, we definitely have room there because we've increased the radius. Well, this stuff definitely is a tiny bit cheaper. Oh no, I haven't, have I purchased it? Yeah, I did, Monkey Karmarsh right there. Okay, so extra range, do a little bit of that. Probably gonna be a very similar monkey here. We might do uh, some other stuff. Yeah, this is 155. That was definitely more expensive before. It was like 170. Okay, so let's destroy some balloons. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got a lot of balloons we're dealing with right now. We're not doing a very good job with it. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm playing awful. Okay, so he can get rid of camos, so round 24 wasn't too big of a scare. At this rate, we haven't gotten our bomb shooter out yet, so. I could find a good spot for him right there. Sounds great to me. We need that to be pretty good. I think just having him have the frag bombs will be great for now. We still have, you know, a good 14 rounds to save up for everything else. So that should be pretty nice. Okay, let's do a missile launcher. Then we'll do the 520 for the cluster bombs. That'll be good. This might take some time, but we're earning it up pretty quickly. See, those first three tiers are a little bit cheaper, but now I can break this up. Before, I couldn't break that, so I'm glad that I got to set up when I did. That would have been nasty. That probably would have been a game over if all those leads got by me. Would have been really bad. So I got that cannon. I'm thinking about setting up another one now. Probably just set them up. I wanna find the, oh, the range is way bigger than I think it is right now because of all the upgrades. But even then, I can't find a way to fit you in because I'm really bad at placing monkeys. Oh, really bad at placing monkeys. I can't get anything in there. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Oh, I can do it on the outside over this way. Cannons are very large. I think that is cheaper, but we're gonna go ahead and do this one and sort of try that. We're gonna get you to be the Moab Mauler, and that should be pretty decent. Oh gosh, oh, those guys are getting by. I don't like that. We might need another uh, Buccaneer. It's looking like it. There's so much we can do, so much we have to do, jeez. So for right now, we almost got the 690. There we go. And then we will do extra range because you're, ha you're definitely having a hard time reaching. Got it. Okay, so now let's get another Buccaneer out because obviously that's helping a ton. I would love to get the 425 for that if I can get the Buccaneer monkey to do its thing. And then we could do some Marine instead. It is a little bit cheaper to start out with. Let's try that out. That might be better. I like how you can see the little uh, submarine monkey. He's pointing to the submarine which way to shoot. <laughs> I like that. He's like, that way, that way. Okay, let's do 425 for the Monkey Commerce. 8,500 is ridiculously expensive, so we're definitely not doing that, I don't think, here in easy mode. I mean, I would like to, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Come on, come on, you guys can destroy that now. Yeah, you got it. Let's go ahead and do that. I mean, I don't even know if I need advanced intel. They can see everything, right now they can reach everything just about that everybody else can reach. So if we could do 795 for that, that's pretty good. So at this rate, if I could save up 2,720 in the next couple of rounds, that might be great for the uh, Moab Assassin. And then we'll just pop it right away and then finish this round off. That might be good. 
Okay, so we, we, we should be able to get that, I think. Break all of that. That's where the it gets a little problematic is all these leads. Okay, that's 813, so in about another thousand. We're getting there. All right, 38. Come on now. Popping those leads. And we got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. And anybody else I wanna upgrade? I don't think so. So, two regrow balloons really shouldn't be too big of a deal. And as soon as this guy shows himself this Moab in the next round, I'm just gonna immediately pop him. That way we can just deal with all the balloons that pop out, which shouldn't be too bad with how we're dealing with all these rainbows and zebras and stuff, as you can see. It really isn't that big of a deal. So go, got it, see ya. Bunch of ceramics. Oh, they almost got by, but we got them. So there's victory. We're gonna go home with that one. And I think with that, I mean, how many other intermediate maps are there? Oh, well, we unlocked those, which is pretty cool. Well, we take a look, we could do cornfield and underground, or we could save those for the next episode. I think we'll save those for the next episode. And if I could just continue playing uh, with the hard mode daily challenge, that'd be pretty cool. And we have some interesting ideas here with the Druid Monkey especially, because I've never tried the Druid Monkey before. That's this guy right here. We take a look at his upgrades, we can see some of his moves. He has like hard thorns. Hard thorns can pop balloons, or two balloons each, and pop frozen balloons, which is pretty cool. Then, shoots eight thorns per shot instead of five. And then, increases range by large amount. Okay. So we got some interesting choices there. First off, of course, we're gonna start with the dart monkey. I think putting him even here is not that big of a deal, but maybe here would be a tiny bit better. And then we can get it like a glue gunner, really start slowing these guys down. The glue gunner has some really nice range, so I feel like that'd be a fun combo to start everything off with, but look at those balloons go away from us already. Wow, that was quick. Uh, let's do quick shots. Okay. Let's do long range darts. Maybe we'll go for a crossbow this time instead of the super monkey, because we never really commit to the full super monkey, and I feel like that's not a good idea. Or the super monkey fan club, you know what I mean, but <laughs> we just don't really end up doing that. Oh, we're not gonna be able to reach these couple. So already I'm having a hard time with this. Jeez, I'm bad at this game. Let's do very quick shots. Come on, come on, come on, we gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this. Okay, we're doing a lot better this time. The glue is keeping up ever so slightly. I mean, these upgrades are a bit expensive, that guy's gonna take a little while to get around, but it's only one red, so we should be able to handle it when it does his second figure eight. Got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, what are our options here? La last much longer, can two, coat two balloons per shot. Soaks through all layers of balloons, sounds pretty good. So we'll go with that one. And then we'll probably do stickier glue, so it lasts for longer. Well, let's do bigger globs, actually. It's cheaper, I think it would work out better. Wow, glue splatter is a pretty expensive jump. Okay. So at this rate, I really need more firepower, so probably more monkeys. But for right now, larger range should help. And then next round, we need another monkey. They, they're they way more expensive, we do 215 each. But this is why I bought power-ups, don't forget that. So let's go ahead and put this down. And any other power-ups do I want? I mean, I could try some of these free towers. Um. Oh, we got a free bomb tower right here. Ooh, that's tempting. We got a zero to zero fire monkey. We got one of these free druid monkeys. You know what, let's try the free druid monkey and put him, I guess, here. That way I can save a bunch of cash. And then with that I can get a, ooh, hoo, 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 something like this. That sounds great. Let's do increased production, greater production, and do that. That seems really good. So we'll just try to keep figuring stuff out with that. I might need to get some of these upgrades once you have enough experience, but for right now you don't, so just making a balance with everything. Yeah, I think we're gonna save for the 675 there, which we're almost at already. And then I'll probably get something for this banana tower. So 675, you now have the crossbow. And this is pretty good, I like it. Okay, so this is 270 for the easy collect. Then we'll do banana savage, or salvage. I always think it says banana savage. Such a savage at eating all those bananas. That's a, that's a real skill right there. I mean, I'm sure every monkey has that skill. Okay, so should we do the, yeah, we'll do the banana salvage. And then we probably wanna do banana plantation. 16 per round sounds really nice, but if I take a look at the other one, what is the other one? Generates money each round and adds it to your total no fuss. Like, I mean, that could be good if we have a ton of those. And at least with that, I don't have to worry about it anymore. I don't mind worrying about it too much. We, do, we can get a banana farmer and try that for the first time. You still don't have not much experience, so. Thought that these guys would get much experience, like a whole bunch of it pretty easily in hard mode, but maybe they just don't. You're at zero experience. 
Maybe because you were, I yeah, spawned you in? Because if so, you're not gonna be a very useful monkey at all. I mean, at the least I could sell you, get something for free that way. Let's do corrosive glue. Corrosive glue would definitely be great. But ever since we got this guy upgraded, things have been turning out pretty well. So I wanna keep going with that. I probably wanna get another one. So yeah, right now, you're at zero experience, so that is awful. These are pink balloons that are going by real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and get another druid monkey out. 460 is a little bit expensive. Let's try this now. Are you gonna gain any experience now that we have a real druid monkey that I placed with the money I earned? We'll find out after this round. Okay, so 51, so yeah, that's how it works. I could sell you for free cash. Actually, no, you sell for zero. That's really tough. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it does sort of stink. I mean, I'll just use you as you are, a free tower. But it's weird that this doesn't even earn you any experience. Like, I don't know, I don't t entirely understand the uh, choice for that one. We'll do Sharpshooter for that tier four. Don't know if we're gonna get that tier five anytime soon, though, gotta be honest. Okay, so we're running up a lot of stuff with this monkey tower, or the banana tower. We can upgrade the druid now. So let's get to that. He has the hard thorns, we might as well buy that. It's only 270, so we should be able to afford it without too much of an issue. I'm thinking we should do our next dude. We haven't done one of these guys in a little while, so I think I'm gonna change that and get it done now. Okay, that seemed to work out decently. I mean, we're able to handle these guys pretty well so far. And then at this point, I'm thinking that we should go uh, for another monkey, or a banana tower, another uh, thing. I think that would be good. So let's get to that. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and pop that thing. You guys got it. We need another 1,350, so keep building this stuff up as much as possible. And I'll probably go for the same thing when it comes to the, the thing I want. I mean, maybe I'll do a banana plantation that time. But if I'm doing one banana plantation, I should probably do two. And why that is, if I'm already gonna be tapping a ton, I might as well tap a ton, you know? So let's go ahead and do that. That's gonna at least be longer lasting bananas. Probably should have gotten the other two first, in hindsight but now I got this one. That should be pretty good. So now we're getting lots of money coming in, and these guys, because of the double figure eight thing, are able to handle with the most of these guys pretty easily. So it's not really that big of a stress. You can just keep tapping those stuff. And get 650, nice. Okay. So we're gonna get the 3670 for both of those guys. For right now we only have one thing that'll pop lead, which is a little scary, but we do have enough for this. Thorn Swarm. That sounds good, I don't really need the extra range. Heart of Thunder unleashes regular blasts of forked lightning that arc for balloon, from balloon to balloon. That sounds really good. Now what is, thorns convert regrow balloons into normal balloons, interesting. And then Heart of Vengeance gains attack speed for up to 100 lives lost after getting this upgrade. Lives, or lives above maximum do not count. So I guess the more balloons you have, the more attack speed he has, that sounds actually pretty good. I might take that then. So let's keep up with that combo and save up some good cash here with the banana towers as much as I can. So we need about another thousand, which I'll be able to afford decently enough. Okay, I like it. I'm having a good time with this one. I mean, it's tough so far and I could lose at any given moment, really. Okay, so, oh, I need a little bit more. I'm probably making a mistake investing this much into the banana tower so soon, but I need to, right? <laughs> Okay, so I don't know, I guess we got some camos coming in. That's what those guys are attacking. So we should probably put some more investments into the towers we already have out here, and probably get a lot more normal monkeys because these druids, while I like them, can't be scaled too much more. So if we could just get another normal monkey like this way, get him to have lots of money, hold on, and then let's do that, and we'll probably make this a spike of pulled as well. So those guys are about even. I can upgrade both of them, 1945. That shouldn't be too bad. For right now, we just gotta keep getting some bananas. Almost at 1900 already, but wow, we're starting to get really overwhelmed. I mean, I could start using with this many balloons. I could probably use another power up. Which one should I use? This one. Got it. Okay, so that's already 2000 coins. I can go ahead and get this juggernaut. Very good. So does that increase the amount of balloons I make from, oh yeah, 25 instead of 20. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, this is a lot of balloons making their way in, but that's why I got all this extra cash too. Can't get any upgrades for either of you guys at the moment, the druids, which is sort of a shame. 
But I mean, I haven't bought the upgrade for you, so let's just go ahead and do that. That'll make you at least a little bit more viable. I mean, do you sell for anything now? You do sell because I've upgraded you, I put money into you. That's nice, I'm glad it does that. We're gonna go ahead and glue gun some, or get a glue gunner out again. And we're gonna do these two. If we could get corrosive glue, that'd be good. The Moab glue will be super helpful. 2,700 is pretty expensive, but I think we could do it. That might be our best bet for getting rid of the Moab with this team. I really just, there's not really too much I can do to scale the Druid right now. So I think getting the, the glue gunner out with that might be great. In the meantime, just keep burning stuff up. I mean, I haven't really used any of these. Try that out a little bit. Okay, that's a lot of money. I can go ahead and do the Moab glue now. Very good. I can probably upgrade that soon. Oh my gosh, if we survive, because this is looking really nasty. Oh no, we, we got it, we're clearing it out real quick now. Good, good stuff, good job, guys. So I can do 1945 for the glue, glue splatter right there. I'd still need another 3670 for that. Then I don't know what the upgrade after that's going to be. Probably nothing we can afford anytime soon. We do have enough for the Heart of Oak, and then the Heart of Vengeance. Let's do the Heart of Vengeance. That sounds pretty good. Because if we take a look, I already got, okay. Lots of stuff going on right now. Let's do the Heart of Vengeance. Can't do the Heart of Vengeance for you. So now that I got the Heart of Vengeance, I think it'll make a lot of stuff easier. Whoa, 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 oh yeah, it's a Moab. It's a Moab, all right. Oh gosh, that's not doing much damage at all. That's concerning. What can I do then? I can get a monkey here. We will make you, I guess, have this. That, that doesn't help much. Oh no. Come on, get him. Powers, what powers can I use? Um, I definitely can use some powers, right? Got it. Destroy them. Then nobody's attacking them. Okay, there they go. Good job, guys, good job. Okay, I'm so proud. They're all super powered now, so we can speed things up again. Jeez, that was scary. I just need more ways to destroy Moabs, and I really don't know what that'll be for right now. Right now, I guess it would be more Moab glue. So we have them all go right here, but we need Relentless glue now. But if I could just get the 3670 for the banana plantation, that'd be really good. Hard mode is so stressful. <laughs> I don't know what to feel about it. Okay, so there we go, got it. 20,000 experience, we have this now. Um, produces five large banana crates every round with 300 each. Very cool, we'll take that one. Okay, so $23,000 though. I don't see how I'm gonna get that anytime soon. So much money though coming in. It's getting scary though. Like I would like to win this mostly to my own accord and not have to use a ton of power-ups, but don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually do that. Okay, well we're destroying a lot of stuff, a lot of balloons. Let's do, go ahead and do that glue. And if we move back to this guy, we're probably gonna wanna worry about him now. Make him have the balloon dissolver. I think that'd be best. Because while getting a lot of glue out can be helpful, I think it would be much better just to have glue that's gonna really slow them down a lot. We can get a th third glue gunner out very soon. Okay, so let's do balloon dissolver, and then balloon liquefier sounds like the next best bet. I mean, I could save another 1350 for more banana towers. That also sounds nice. Um, and we're gonna give you probably about the same upgrades. Because they eventually, of course, pay for themselves. It just takes some time. And we're trying to invest that time as well as we can. So we're at 47 out of 80. We've gotten closer than this on hard mode. Uh, was it last episode, the episode before? And I'm hoping we can continue with that. It's just gonna take some effort. Lots of elbow grease. Maybe even a monkey wrench or two. Haha, <laughs> get it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so 3670 again. Can we afford that? I would sure hope so. Look at all this glue everywhere though, it's crazy. Got it. We're definitely earning up some mad cash now. So, 16,000 for that, 29,000 for that. Some expensive stuff. Yes, we have enough for the heart of oak. Okay, so I can get that, only 380s, so might as well give it to you. Okay, so we're doing all right with like that dude. Oh, get all this money, don't forget about that now. There's lots of uh, monkeys all over the place. I'm thinking we'll do our third glue gunner, we'll put him here and get the center upgrade as much as we can. And then I think we'll also do corrosive glue. I think that'll be better. I think we wanna have some more anti mob stuff real soon. Level up, monkey knowledge, we're rank 40 now. Very cool, and now we got you know, the glue hose. Oh, here's more Moab stuff for that anti mob I wanted so badly. I'm a little too late right now, though. For right now, no, let's get a triple shot. Oh, maybe not. Uh, Let's do that one. Pick up this money. Things are getting a little scary right now, can't deny. Okay, we got another Moab. We're actually doing pretty good against the Moabs at this point. If I could just get a second glue gunner out around this way um, and make him have more of the 
Moab glue, and then we'll do glue soak as well. That should be pretty good. We already all, I think we only need like 2,000 something. So we're earning up cash really easy with that now, which is good. Uh, where is he? Right here. So 3,240. Have we gotten that upgrade with either of these guys? Yes, we've gotten it for you over there. Anyways, we have enough experience for the glue strike which is really cool. This is 8,500 experience. And as you can see, glue strike ability, glue all balloons on screen. Doesn't that sound cool? And that will be for not him, not him, but him. 3,780, 3, sorry. I'm so flabbergasted how amazing that deal is. I couldn't pronounce anything for it. I should be a salesman or a sales zebra or whatever. There we go. So we could uh, glue everybody on screen at some point. Oh gosh, those guys are getting around quick. I actually really like this map. I can see how this is like an easier map because of how easy it is for them to just loop around. So I understand that's a beginner map, but at least it's a beginner map on hard mode. We still have so much more to do. Um, first off, I wanna focus on this guy, 3,240 for his next thing. I'm glad we've been able to glue the Moabs up a little bit, but it doesn't do a ton, to be honest with you. I was hoping it would do a bit more, but it's sort of just our best anti mob situation for right now. Okay, almost have the 3,200 and something. Got it, so I just gotta buy that. So everything else is probably just either getting really powerful monkeys with like tens of thousands of dollars or getting a lot of mid-tier monkeys. Cause like I can get the tier threes pretty easily at this point. But I just don't know if that'll be enough to keep up, you know? That's sort of the scary part about all this. So I got that monkey right there. He's sort of having a hard time fitting in with all that. And you know what? Maybe we should make this one a uh, monkey fan club, dude. That might be good. Right now we're handling things pretty well. I just have to pay attention to how everything is going. Once it starts making its way on that second loop, of course that's when we're gonna have to start being worried. So for right now I'll do that, and we'll do extra range so we can see camo. And then if I could just save up 6,800, that'd be pretty good. I don't know what our chances are. I mean, better than saving up 23,000. So that would be good. I like seeing the timer on the bottom right. Apparently it's been 30 minutes in game, not in real life. I mean, this episode in total has been more than that, but not the actual round that we're doing. Okay, so I got the 6800, I should be able to, no, it's 8600. Oh, it's so much more expensive on hard mode. Wow. Okay, gotta keep that in mind. Is it gonna be worth my while still? Because how much, like if I can earn up 9,000 now, I mean, I really need more firepower as a thing. But that's why I have stuff like glue bl all balloons on screen, you know? If I could find, like, what is the next big upgrade I can get? Probably like the Crossbow Master. What does it do? I wanna see. I know about the hint, get it out of here. That's 30,000, now we still have to earn up three times as much as we have right now. Um, for the Crossbow Master, it's, Crossbow Master shoots really fast and devastates most balloon types with ease. I feel like that sounds really great. And if I could just keep earning that up, it'd be, even greater. Just 29,000 is a lot to ask for, um, especially when all these balloons are moving so quickly. We got it. So I don't know, we're handling things surprisingly well. Whoa, 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 okay, so we got a, um, a BFB. I, I think I called this a Zomg before when it's not. Um, we do have the uh, Heart of Thunder. I'll go ahead and do that, get that upgrade, and then boom, let's just rain that down. I don't think that did as much as I was hoping, but I thought we had the, you know what? Oh, there's so much I could do. I think we need to do this, and then, oh, we can't even turn them into Super Monkeys just yet. That was sort of kind of a waste of cash now that I'm looking at it. But we almost have enough for, well, that. And then there was the 7,560. I didn't even see that before, so we're definitely gonna get that in a moment. Oh, the electrocution is actually working really nicely. Uh, mostly. Okay, turn some, see, it doesn't turn already evolved, or evolved, like leveled up uh, monkeys. So, the crossbows and the, the gauntlet ones, or whatever it's called, they just don't turn into super monkeys, which is a total shame. Anyway, 75, 60 for that, or 6, 75, 60, whatever it was. You know, um, I get all these bananas before they disappear. I don't know why I'm taking so long with that. So far, we're doing pretty decent. We got some ceramic enforced uh, Moabs now, though, so it's getting a little problematic. Okay, so we did all right, at best, I think. Like, if we take a look at this upgrade, uh, the next one's a while away. Druid of Wrath, what is this one? Gains attack speed during the round as long as the Druid is popping balloons. Wow, interesting. I like the Druid monkey, he seems like a lot of fun. I think you can do a lot of cool stuff with him. Okay, so lots of balloons moving, but by the time they get to that second rotation, they get cleared out real fast. 
So at this point, I probably just want a lot of normal dart monkeys that can be turned into super monkeys when I need them to be. I mean, some of these guys I might try to afford into being more dart monkey fan clubs, but for right now, it's a spending, what was that, five of them, 200? That was about a 1,000 of them. And then boom, turn them all into super monkeys, get rid of a ton of Moabs. Like, that's really good. So I, I wanna do more stuff like that, because it's worth our while. So just gotta keep that in mind. I mean, I can keep upgrading one of them for now. I might as well make them stronger, like that, and then We'll do that like that. But I probably wanna keep most stuff so we can get rid of camos if they get nasty. So more of that, more of this. Getting them to be triple shot is easy enough and I feel like it really does increase the amount of effectiveness they have. So could we just keep with that and earn ourselves all the way up to a huge amount of cash? We'll have to wait and see. Cause that would be pretty good. And then maybe, you know, like we haven't used any bomb powers today or in this daily challenge cause we can't. Anyways, super monkeys go crazy or not. Most of them weren't, weren't really attacking that at all. Okay, but by the time they go around again, it's just, it's done, which is really nice. Okay, get all those bananas. Am I gonna be able to get any crazy upgrades or should I just save for another Super Monkey Fan Club? It's looking like I might wanna do Super Monkey Fan Club. I don't know though. I don't think anybody here needs an upgrade. So we can just keep going with what we got. Okay, so we're at 67 out of 80. So it's looking like we might wanna do another Super Monkey Fan Club, but that might not be enough. Especially with all these guys doing their thing. Let's go ahead and do that. They can all see the camos, which is really nice. Get the money. You know what, we're gonna get one more, at the least. Okay, just a couple more Moabs. Just super casual Moabs going on right now. Moabs, oh, I didn't get upgrade you at all. I can fix that now. 16,000 for the Ultra Juggernaut. Okay. Maybe we should try for that, because that's not too crazy expensive compared to other tier fives. That might be my best bet. I don't know how much it'll do. It might be awful because it's a uh, weaker tier five. But we'll try our best with it and see what we end up getting. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice stuff. Got 5,000 already, so things are getting there. How much are these if I sold these? 4,000 each, so if I really wanna like rush it, <laughs> Um, if in these next 10 waves, like if things go well, I could just rush that. I mean, I could rush a lot of things if I wanna look at it that way. I mean, I can't rush like 54,000 though. That's like a little too much. Okay, so you know what? I think this is some super monkey situation that we need to figure out. That worked out pretty well. They're still having a hard time getting past that first one. But when it comes to just surely the amount of distance the balloons have to travel in this level, it's very large. And I feel like that's sort of a big perk to it. Why wow, it's fun to play on this level. Come on, come on, good job. 12,000 now, might not even have to sell these banana towers for that 16K. Looking like it. Oh gosh, but things are getting nasty. We do have an upgrade for the Druid Monkey. It's gonna be this one, uh, the Druid Wrath. We'll go ahead and buy that upgrade at 650. It's relatively cheap compared to what we have. Come on, can we do that? Let's rain down some more balloons, or some more glue on the balloons. Don't wanna rain down more balloons. There's plenty of balloons as it is. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. Keep moving, got more money. Almost at that 16,000, which is 16,200. And we got it, very good. So we'll go ahead and buy this, one of our first ever ultimate pad towers. Tier five monkeys are the most powerful in the game. You can only have one of each path in play at a time. One of each path. So does that mean we couldn't get a tier five of this star monkey? Oh, it means we can, oh, I get it. Interesting, I didn't know that. So that really is our first tier five, which makes sense, it's super cheap. But we do have enough blue monkey experience to unlock one of these, but I wanted to do these in order. So I'm gonna hold off for now. Very cool. I'm so happy about that, we finally got our first tier five. Not the one I was hoping for, but that's fine. There's still so many more things to do to accomplish in this game, as you can see. So this is round 75 out of 80. We can go ahead and land some of that stuff, get some super monkeys out here. I mean, honestly, we might just do more normal monkeys right now. We just have a whole circle of them, have like an overwhelming amount of them. We can only do up to 10 is a thing. So once I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, that should be perfect. Go ahead and turn them into super monkeys, rain down some glue. That seems like it turned out pretty gosh darn well. And if I have any extra money, I should probably put it on those guys. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. 
That was just a lot of balloons at once. A lot of balloons at once, holy cow. Okay, but we did fine, we did just fine. So if I have almost a little bit more, 8640, got it, we can get another set of those. That's why I love the Super Monkey Fan Club. It's a pretty cheap way to get a lot of the Super Monkeys out, especially in a challenge like this where I can't get Super Monkeys. Let's go ahead and turn these guys all into Super Monkeys, or a bunch of them at the least. And we still have two others, so if we need it, we have it. Slow those guys down with balloon, or with glue, I don't know why I wanna call glue balloons. Doesn't make any sense. Come on, come on, come on, good job, 41! We get another intelligence point. And now we're at 78 out of 80. Can I survive to the very end? I am not sure, things might not go my way. Uh. Okay, so that, that should be fine. Hasn't gotten through the uh, second second loop. Okay, so we're like using a lot of electrocution over this way. Seems to be working out pretty well. Okay, so it's another, uh, forget what it's called, BFB. So, let's go ahead and upgrade, if I can. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one. I was like, oh my, 49,000 experience. We don't even need that experience because he's maximum. Like he has all of his upgrades. 30,000 now, I need 30, 37,000. So he does have two upgrades available though. Oh, that was the wrong time to activate the super monkeys. We're at 78 out of 80. Can we do it? So far we're destroying these guys. Oh no, 79 out of 80. Rain down the glue. I don't know if the glue does damage at all. It doesn't seem like it, but maybe if the monkey does also have corrosive glue, it would make sense that if it could. I mean, right now we seem to be doing all right, but I think we need more super monkeys as much as possible. Okay, so. Yeah, if I want another tier three, or tier five, what am I talking about? It can't be the uh, Ultra Juggernaut again. I don't have to be something much better. So we'll have to wait and see what we want to get. Come on, you know what, I need Super Monkeys. These guys are walking around real quick. I don't like it. So let's rain down some glue. This is all ceramic reinforced, so it gets really nasty really quickly. Um, that was okay, that was okay. So this is our last round. I am really tempted to sell these because I don't need money anymore after this, I don't think, so. Maybe I should have, oh, maybe I should have let them give me money before I did that. Okay, lesson learned. So I still can't earn up the, the, uh, the th 37,500. Okay, so my next best bet when it comes to an upgrade, we have $37,000 now. Let's go ahead and add a crossbow master. Look at you, you are so cool. Um, and we'll just start it, we'll make it slow. It's a ZOMG, surely that, this is the largest thing the balloons could possibly send at us, right? I would hope so. But we're gonna find out, we can do a lot of stuff now. I mean, I could send out some super monkeys. I think we'll go ahead and set out one of these, and it's like, oh, okay, this works differently than I thought it would. Um, Where is our super crazy dude? So it only applies to one. But we'll do a bunch of super monkeys, let them go crazy on this thing. Look at it go. Then we can like stop time. Oh, that stops the monkeys too. Okay, well note taken. I didn't know it, did, it worked that way. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll just do this guy. Sure, why not? Holy cow, holy cow. We did it, we defeated hard mode. I had to use some power ups, but Hey, I don't care. We got a 200 dart monkey, a super monkey reward, and $200. So very, very awesome. So how much did we in total get worth of stuff? How much was that power worth? Um, 100, so we got like 300 mon monkey bucks worth of stuff. Very, very cool. Got another achievement done. 50 monkey bucks for deploying a tier five tower. Very cool. So we got to showcase the countdown a little bit. We got to do some tier five monkey action, which is a lot of fun. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Bloons Tower Defense 6. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Bomb so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.